Okay, here we are in beautiful Orange, California, doing our inaugural test and run of our 1981 Honda ATC 250R with a complete Mugen Stage 2 kit. Very rare, very unique. I was lucky enough to find this bike uh, up in Reseda, California. Somebody was selling it for a very good price, and I won't go into that, but if you're on the forums, you know what that price was. Uh, we are here in Orange, California. We've got a lot of history in this area. Literally two minutes up the road is Saddleback Race Park, the legendary race park where these three wheelers, especially this ATC 250R, was so dominant for a number of years before it was uh, sadly and unfortunately closed down. We are also sitting on the Bassett property and uh, Ward Bassett grew up here. Ward Bassett was a mini bike racer and back in the late 70s, early 80s, used to ride his mini bike with the gas can between his legs from this house up Chapman Avenue to Saddleback Park. That was the good old days. If you do that now, you'll be in jail. But anyways, we're gonna, gonna go into a quick narration on the bike and I'm gonna give it a quick test spin. So I'm gonna grab the camera here from my lovely assistant, Marissa. You can see her, say hello. You can see that we are both decked out in our uh, vintage Honda ATC garb. Mine doesn't exactly fit so well, but it still looks cool. So anyways, this is our bike. If you're on the forums, uh, you've seen the pictures of it, but now you get to see some video. As you can see, it's uh, really in pristine condition. It's got the complete Mugen kit, which was the carburetor, the head, the cylinder, piston, high flow air filter, 15 tooth front sprocket, the full sticker kit. This doesn't have a number plate on it. It'd be kind of neat to have one, but we don't have that one for now, so that's okay. We've also got Al Baker's bitchin' front fender on here. Now, somebody did carve some sort of freaky goat into the front fender. That's the only uh, kind of bummer here, but that's life. So we're going around again. We've got the Mugen Big Bore pipe. As you can see, it's got a little bit of rust. It could use some restoration along with a few other things, but as you can see, the bike's in absolutely amazing condition. In back, we got a plus four S and D swing arm, a works uh, double rate rear shock with reservoir that's actually in fantastic condition. The rubber bump stops intact. There's our reservoir coming back around. Back to Mugen power there. Pretty amazing. So now we are going to go ahead and uh, jump on her start her up i'm gonna give the uh camera back to my lovely assistant there you are darling thank you we're gonna put on my unfortunately non-vintage helmet i didn't wasn't quite able to complete that aspect but here we go
So, let me get my Honda ATC hat back on here to go with my Honda ATC jacket that's really too small with me. Also notice the White Brothers vintage jersey. This is all going back to the early to possibly mid 80s. But anyways, you can see how she runs. Uh, she's geared pretty tall with the 1539 sprocket combo. So getting out of first gear on this property is a challenge as you could possibly see. But you can see the kind of torque that this bike has throughout the whole power range. And that's what the Mugen kit provided was just unbelievable torque. Uh, and naturally somebody has to pull into my driveway as I'm doing this. God bless Orange County. Uh, so anyways, that's it. Um, hopefully that gave all you uh, addicts uh, a nice little taste of the Mugen and the bike, how it runs. And uh, I'm going to post this here in a few minutes. So uh, go ahead and uh, take a look at it and let me know what you think. All right. Thank you.